so Schmack to his mind there, and conveniently enough, we ended up getting the slave pen tech there. Well, what am I saying? It's not really convenient because I actually don't think I'm going to use that tech at all. And I was going to reinforce everything to kind of push, deal with the Volvar, but they're already checking out with their battleships. Relatively decent size armada, although it's going to die so quickly. It's not even going to be a contest. So I'm trying to get back on track with everything I want to do. I do want to push the fall bar back on the other side of the wormhole. And I think that might be the best idea. So that way, it helps keep their incursions to a minimum and to a single system. And because that wormhole, I'll control both ends of the wormhole. I actually will get a couple turns to see him ahead of time, which would be a nice bonus. As opposed to him being right next to the system when I actually, when they actually go through it. So that might be an idea. So what, what the hell was I doing with the system before it got taken? Probably just the usual routine, but looks like everything's already been constructed. Yeah, we got the all the basic ones. So I guess I choose whatever I want in that case. So. Let me just start with the boost in the population in that case. It's getting cool. Well, it's at max max pop anyway, so it's not going to grow anymore until then. Regardless, so... Let's see, how big is this fleet? I got a beetle, three cruisers, frigate, two consorts, so it could push out into a wormhole. And I really would like to push out with this into Federation space. I am just half concerned that fleet's gonna start moving out there after a point, even though it is kind of just doing nothing right now. That's what's that what scares me the most. Like finding enough might be an issue because of all the slow frame rates I'm probably gonna have to deal with if that last uh, human fleet battle was any indication. Because Jesus, it almost seemed like it crashed on me at the end there when I was recording score. So let's quickly browse through everything. Determity B, that's going to be my main craft production world up here. So what's the last things in need? I actually think that's everything, besides for maybe the extra economy. It helps sustain itself. So I think we're ready. I'll just get me a couple of construction ships to get started. Might as well get the command points, I suppose. Because I kind of am in sh being stretched thin on that, so that should cover everything. One should pretty much have everything I have in mind. Tries for maybe more command points, because again, it's going to save me some money in the long run right at the moment. I'm just wondering if I want the automated factory or not. Considering I want to keep that for a research world, probably don't want to. And everything else is in production. Ooh, I, I just didn't bother to check there. 15, so that's giving me 11. So the stock exchange is getting double its maintenance costs at least back for me. And if I were to go back to trade goods, maybe that will be even further. So it is giving me value. So I'm happy with that, at least. Let's see, command points exceed. We already knew that. I d am still gaining a profit, so I'm alright with it. Root of mole, so the mole's gone, so... Looks like there's nothing here at all, so I just need the freighters now. Or the infantry to deal with it. I already got the troops here for that. I just gotta get rid of these two stupid meliers that I don't need at all. Because they're not serving me any good. And what was it? Smart Link. Okay. I was trying to figure out what the hell that was called before. I completely... Com had completely forgotten there. And that is quite useful piece of tech here. So that's gonna move up there. I don't have any freighters anymore for this fleet because they're all on Shemat, so I should move them as well. Because once I start taking these additional systems, actually Shemat will be relatively safe. 
from being conquered because it's going to be deeper in my territory. I am going to be high on freighters again, so I'm going to watch for that. If anything, I should probably build more. I don't even know what's in that system, to be honest. For all I know, there is no human plants, sis or no Federation plants owned there. Although, judging by its boundary, I am willing to bet there is, so it's worth checking out. Ooh, and a wormhole. Hmm, interesting. I'm trying to figure out where that would go. I'm assuming it puts it up to the northern part of the Federation Empire there. If I were to guess, oh yeah, and I completely forgot about the these goddamn master ships, and they are getting quite sizable. So what are we looking at? We're looking at 15 ships and at least one exterminator. At least before they didn't bomb me, so I might be okay. I'm just going to need to build more freighters, because apparently they're going after my freighters. And I don't think I have to concern myself too much, aside for the... Like I said, the freighters are going to end up killing. So I'm going to leave that there. Yep, I already know hostile fleets in my system. Thank you. So let's start taking these plants. They're not even worth it though, quite frankly. Ultra poor and poor. Volcanic doesn't even offer me anything. At least the Tundra here will give me some help with food supply a little bit. And what's these delicacies again? Okay, so 10% approval. That will definitely be worthwhile. Don't really care about Lightning One though. So we got us a battle station, that's going to be simple, considering the low tech of the Volvar. I'm even surprised they even ha reached up to the battles, battle system there, or battle, sh battle station rather. So let's clean this out quickly. And we'll just do the usual routine, I really need to switch that profile there. So I'm on... For those ships, the crews, the Hornets and the Hercules be off because they're just going headlong there where they have a, sh they're stronger on the bronze side a little bit. And yeah, that ship has, station has really no firepower. I'm just seeing laser weaponries and an occasional missile. For something so powerful has pitiful weaponry. This is going to be no contest. Those poor Volvar. If it wasn't for the Human Federation, I'd get horribly murder them right now. But as it is, I will gladly just take their lightning system, get that out of the way, and then with a station and a couple of ships, I should be able to repel them easily enough. That's the hope anyway. And I don't even think there's any more tech I can get from them, is there? Nope. There we go, that's much more like it. Since they're separated, I was wondering why he was even showing me that option to fight them if there was no troop transports in that fleet. So it's going to be fairly straightforward as we already know. I'll just try and get as aggressive as I can. That one's a mech, so actually I'm going to put it behind it, which actually works out well considering this rock's in the way. Oops, that was a horrible misclick. What the hell? That makes little sense, because I should be able to shoot there. No, that's a very tempting rocket area to shoot, but of course, it's 
it's not gonna hit much. So what can I hit? Can hit him, who's clearly Melier, that one. I'm guessing that one's the range that I was shooting. So that shield will last for another turnabout. One down, five to go. So I can move forward to get two shots in. Let's get this guy back into position there. Because that was a horrible blunder on my part. And he'll be able to shoot next turn. I'm going to save that rocket. I want to at least hit two of them. To make it worthwhile. Nice. The smart link certainly makes a difference there against those armored milliers. Not so much trying to kill him solo. But it bounces out nicely if I can get just two shots in with a smart link and then two more shots with someone else. So I don't need to worry about that Melier so much. Of course, he's still in the way, goddammit. So I couldn't even hit him in the back. So, can, can't get a shot in with him, and if I were to move him... That, Cause that would be a perfect shot right there. Maybe I can prepare for that next turn. Where do I want to move them? I have to move them down here. Actually, they're gonna move one more hex, so I could move them. Well, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna move them there. Try and cut as much. Oh, what am I saying? He's not even maxed out on the nine movement points, so he could have gotten away with just where he was. Pretty much. It would have made no difference. I'm trying to oversink this some. And there goes my pr prime shot right there that I would have liked. Can I still hit them? Yeah, two hexes. I can hit both of them. Oh, six points. God damn it. Maybe not. I thought it was four for some reason. Well, there's an air blunder on my part. Well, there's got to be a reason some people are watching this anyway, right? Even if it's for my own failures. Failures even, blah. You could tell it's early morning. Still trying to wake up. I got my excuses. Anyways, let's finish this up. No casualties, but a little bit of damage all around. I'd like to think maybe those guys would heal up, but I'm still stuck having to look at those two infantry that have one HP for some reason and have refused to just heal up. So I want to say that they'll heal up because they're still the only two infantry I've been seeing between battles that are took partial damage. Maybe when finally we get to meet the polyps. Let me see what they have to offer. They got decent amount of stuff there. Food replicators, particle colliders. So they got a lot of interesting stuff there. Let's see, I have... How many high gravity, gravity worlds do I have to benefit from that? Well, even then, it gives me five additional health, so... Oh, and I got plenty of stuff to give them, so... They're isolationists, so... Are less concerned with their relations... As they are with their own internal prosperity. As a result, they are much less willing to allow traders to visit their empire. So, trading will cost a little bit more. Mercantile, they love money, and they're good. Which is always pleasant to see. And I just got antimatter torpedoes. That's actually quite significant, I think. Because is that more potent than my photon torpedoes that I have? Let's see, photon is 400, 2000 damage, 400 range rather, I was going to say there, and antimatter torpedoes. 
They are nice long range with no damage drop boss, so they're kind of more longer range with health. So they're actually just general missiles. They just what? They drain energy as well, that is it? So it is mobile, meant for long range, so maybe I'll have to experiment with that. Cool to see, it is longer range though, which doesn't quite fit the style too much. And we got a bunch of freighters. Oh. Well, we still don't got any boundary here to utilize until I take the air lightning system. But it'll leave the fall bar with like three systems left in their home region and the one they have on the outskirts, way on the other side of the wormhole. And obviously they're not happy about it. Who have, would have thought? So what do I want to start on this? Obviously income. So yeah, that's money generation, money generation, and the billion, that's for my actual tax I assume, because it specifically says billing to the BC income rather than money generation. It's worded differently at least. So we'll go with that since they got everything else relatively fine. Pulps have a respectable system as well. I, I can't remember what I predicted the Pulps have for the system, but I think it was pretty straightforward they would have the remain systems that we did not see occupied. And that leaves pretty much every system conquered in this entire galaxy map. So we're not going to get much more colony ships go, uh, going here, unfortunately. It's going to be pretty limited. Cordesine is not going to be too happy with me if I fly through there. And they are the one race I don't want to piss off. So Almory Belt, let's get building a couple freighters for me, kind of to give me a little bit of buffer room. And then I can get back to, well, building something there. Probably ships is like the only thing it can do. Because there's not much else I can do to improve it, besides for maybe to start working on the casino intelligence actually. Which will help with my defenses, so. That's not a bad idea either, and it's relatively cheap. So I can get a couple of those to start boosting my spy's potential. So that's going to be simple. Yep, there's just a bunch of freighters. Hmm. Uh, gauze cans. I'm curious, do they even use gauze cans? And oh god. Alloy tempering, they get a free 20% HP and they have the null cannons. So they got a lot of tech. I should start gain catch up at some point soon. Cause I have a I still have a crap ton of tech they do not have, mainly because of the assimilator trait I ended up researching. So I'm much more flexible at least. I just gotta figure out what their playstyle is, I suppose. What the hell? Oh, this is the pox, isn't it? Can I actually see that stat on there? Receive and deal two times the metal damage. So can I actually destroy this? No, they are stuck with that. Damn. Well, now I have a use for my melee units, I guess. I might as well try it with one, at least. Because now I'm stuck with the pox. This contagion is going to start spreading on me. Okay, we have smart blood for the regen, the passive regen. So 
There we go. Do I want the smart plug or the... Actually, let's stick with charge. That sounds more useful. And we'll give that a try since I need to move them out anyway. So take the our lightning system. <laughs> 